a quick video of thought. This was just came to my mind. And when we played baseball and we just finished the top half of the eighth inning, the top half of the eighth, top of eight, would say between eight and eight thirty or eight twenty nine, right? Wouldn't say eight thirty, because once you get to eight fifty nine, you ended the second half. The first half, okay, is from eight one to eight twenty nine, one two nine. When you finish the second half of the inning, if it was in time, it would be eight point three one. The time would start at 831 or at 830 if you want to count it, but 30 is in the middle. We can't count the 30. Everybody's sitting on the bench. They're changing the team. They're going out onto the field. The half inning. But when you count the half an inning, their team played half an inning of offense. Their team played half an inning of defense. When the other team came up, they did the same thing. They each played half of half and half of half. They get two numbers each. They had four areas. They each had offense and defense. They each scorecard for each team. So they each get two. So there's one gerbil. That's why we win a gerbil at the end. Because when it ends, I win a gerbil. The game on the leader's board. So the half an inning in baseball, this is the way we count. Here's the top half of the inning, the first inning. We've got the first inning. We've got the top half of the inning and the bottom half of the inning. We have it from 1 minute to 29 minutes, if we had to calculate. And the bottom half, okay, which we're going to call number 2, okay, we're going to say 2 is the bottom half. We're going to say 1 is the top half. That's pretty easy, okay? So this bottom half would be 31 to 59. This would become 0, 1, which would become 61, which would become starting the birth at the one light, the starting the second half of the inning, okay, which would be 31, not 30, because 30, you're in the dugout. There's a circle there. 1 and 2 creates three parts of an inning, the beginning of the inning, the middle of the inning, and the end of the inning, the middle of the two innings. 5 and 9, we're on Neptune, and that's in the middle. 2 and 9 is in the middle. 5 and 9 is 14, 14 and 11. K and N, 11, 14, which is 2 and 5, Earth. 11, 1 and 1 is 2, and 1 and 4 is 5. That's Earth, 5 and 2, which is the letter B, and that's Venus. The five worlds of Venus. Hmm, it's very suspicious. So this is what we have. We have a coin, or we have a, um, um, a tool that we need to turn. So what we do is we get one up here. In the triangle, one here, that's the one over here. We get the second part of the triangle here, number two, and we get the third part of the triangle here, number three. But this is one and a half two, and a half three, and a half four. Automatically, in between where all the halves is, that's the other team at play. You're the home team, you play from the corners. The other team who's on the road starts over here. So you have an automatically six per triangle. So if we start, let's start like this. We go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7. We go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7. Each triangle becomes 7 plus 1 heart which I call the moon heart, like they have on the seven and the eight cards. These are both sevens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We counted the first one, and we counted the last one twice. The ring of six and seven is because where we start and where we finish, we count the alpha omega, one, six, seven. Six in between the light and the gateway is reconnecting because if there was a if there was a tube, you would need to go all the way around the tube before it goes back down the other way. You have to go through one tube into the next tube. Each of these reflect in their own seven and seven is fourteen, G and G. 
14, plus in between the gates. Starting at the center and out, 1 and 2. Starting at the center is out. From here, 1 to 2 to 3 back. From here, 1 to 2 to 3 back. 3 and 3 is 6. Total of 20. This creates the Z. Inside this part over here, the heart, in between the two sides, an even break between two sides, the 90 degree mark, the T, 45 on each side. This would mark 7 and 7. This would be your Z, your T, your Z and your T, the 20th and 26th letters that I always talk recreating. Here's your 1 and 1, east-west. Now we're walking. The A, what do we use the A for? Our legs are stuck together. You try and walk like this. This is the A head, and this is the AS. A H A S. The shoulders and the waistline. I'm ahead of the game. Try and walk. Think about walking. Think about walking. Watch the cats run. Watch how man walks. They put their whole body into their run. We do not. They put their back legs into their front. We do not. Our legs lock us in. We are locked in at the hips through our legs. If you want to think about tender or redder, the word redder is a part of earth because it says T and D are an exchange. You can exchange the T and the D to see it from another world, to see it from outside this world or from another language, whichever way you prefer to, to um, look at it. Um, the other thing was... Uh, where was it? Number 44. If you want to calculate three different worlds, okay, first we understand, take any two numbers you want, okay? If you want to use 65, I'm going to automatically tell you uh, 45. And 45, okay, is under 46. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 equals to 45. 9 times 5, 9 times 6 equals to both. But 44, the opposite into seven worlds. I bring it to 4 is into the 10 world, 6 and 4 is 10. But in the 7 world, it's 3. It's creation of 3 and 3. There's only one on each hand. Raphael, 7286, and a constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching this video. Did I say, did I do that all right? Did I do that all right? You ever see this? I put up a couple of pictures on my Facebook with this, what the corner, with just one corner, and turning... <laughs> Turning, turning, like, I don't know, can you see this? You, you can see this? Is my video still going? Yeah, you can see what it's doing right here. I just want to do it one time. Look at those books all lined up. Hey, okay? But look what happens when I turn it. Look what happens to the corners, and I did this before. The way it makes a star. How did I do that before? The way it makes the star. You see when I bring the camera towards the corners? And if I want to make a five-point star, Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Should we pull it out? Trying to see what I can do off of one corner. See, if I take away the book, if I take away the book, there's nothing there. But just one corner of the book, and it changes everything. Thank you for watching.